be yeah, back. Yeah. It's good to be back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Friday Street Fighter edition of Rage Drive. Yeah, give it up. How's it going? It is I, Radzinski. Good to be here, as always. And I'm joined by Illusion Gaming's Sequele. Actually, that's a mistake. It's Ben Petroleum. Ben Petroleum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I done goofed. I'm sorry <laughs> for goofing. I'm sorry for goofing. No worries, no worries. But that's good, yeah. So, welcome everyone. We are back once again in the Rage Drive 2022 and Ultimate Gaming Championships. It's so good to be here and we still have so many things that we're going to do, so many matches that are going to be played and I hope everyone is going to enjoy the ride with us. So many top level games that are going to be played, high level matches that are going to be played and yeah. I say apologies. Uh, we're going to need to start with an apology for, for getting on the back foot. Unfortunately, load shedding has set us back a little bit, and we had to get some technical difficulties worked out. But before we begin, I would like to give a shout out to all of the, to all of the sponsors that gave us their energy for this spirit bomb of a tournament. Intel Nuck, Asus, Samsung, Pro Sales, Godox, the Nexus, Rage, Puma, Retro Guy, yes, Retro Guy, Red Bull, Nano Leaf, LG, Hisense, and AOC. Thanks so much for for powering this tournament. Yep. And you know what? It's as we said. It's as we said, Vin. It, we got lots of matches, and we're gonna go straight into the first match if possible because. Yeah. We're on the back foot. We're trying to run this bracket as fast as we can. Yep. And yeah, in fact, we've got your teammate, Sequele. That is Sequele. Yes. <laughs> now that's correct. That is Sequele. That's my teammate. I'll try my best not to be biased because he's my teammate. Uh, but no, we're just going to be analyzing the game, looking at the game, looking at how they play and how well this set is. So I'm looking forward to this match. It's looking like it's going to be Zangief versus M. Bison. I don't know, but that's what it looks like currently on the stream. Yes, and I am correct. They have locked into their characters. It's going to be Sequela going with Zangief. And uh, I'm trying to find the bracket in the meantime. Yeah, we have to be looking at the bracket, and then it'll, that will be him facing the M. Bison right there. It's going to be Sequela versus Caleb. Let's go. Let's go. Caleb, good luck. You've got this. Here we go. Sequela going in with the tried and true Zangief. Geef is good. I don't know why people give him grief. Well, he definitely is good once he gets momentum. Um, but specifically in this matchup, I think um, Geef has the advantage. Um, because, you know, Zangief can absorb most of the... Oh, that was a nice punish. Crash counter. Yes. Straight into the red cyclone. And it's a stun. Oh, my goodness. Don't think he can kill with this. Let's no, no, see. definitely not. Oh, he jumps it. That's a good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Jump out of the grab range. Ah, that's it. That's Ooh. it. EX pile driver. EX and pile driver. Sequela should have enough knowledge of your character here because you also play Bison. That is correct. Hans was saying that it, he does have a bit of an advantage in this matchup. But let's see. Maybe Caleb can pull this off, eh? All right. Let's see. Okay, nice jumping from Sequela there. All right, Caleb does press buttons. He's getting ready. He's in the corner. This is dangerous. Tried to go for the full command grab. Oh my goodness, Sequela, this is... I don't know. Ooh. He's still now guess for game. Guess, guess for game. Yeah, indeed. That's it. That's it. That's wow, it. straight to the critical art. And oh my goodness. It. Why did this man drop it? He oh dropped it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mash red cyclone. What a drop. What a drop. Because <laughs> I was sure that that was done. <laughs> if you see Sequoia right now, he's just like upset. Like, just like, why did I drop that? <laughs> why did I drop that? I mean, I, I was certain that that was the end. That was done. Because you know what? Sequoia rarely drops in those situations. Okay. Caleb opting to go straight into the rematch. Oh, oh my goodness. The range on that kick. Oh, oh my goodness. So many crash counters. Oh my god. This is a guess for game. Yeah, no. Wait, okay, don't think it's going to kill. No, definitely won't kill. Yeah, he's got still got one more guess for the character. Perfect oh, KO. Perfect. Oh, the perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You know what? I think um, there's a lot of things that um, Caleb can stop, if only he, he can see. Um, because Sequele is... Okay. Oh, I can see. Okay, maybe there's some life with Caleb, yeah? There is some life. Wait, that headbutt is overhead? Yeah, is that yeah, headbutt yeah. overhead? That's so good. See, yeah, he's not going to drop this. I think he's drop. finished. Put your core into it. Oh, no. I thought it was done. Oh, what goodness. are we doing? Here we go. Okay. And Bison activates. Oh, what a trade. Close one, Caleb. That was a good one. And Sequela takes this one. Good game. Good game, Good Sequela. start. Good start. Although I feel yeah. as though I think some of his inputs did get lost in that match because I did see he ended up getting a jump when I think he tried to buffer a full circle. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, it actually happened a lot, if you noticed. He probably like missed like three or four mm. SPDs um, mm. because that's what he was going for. And I don't know. Um, his inputs were just uh, getting missed for some reason. Um, but um, good games. Um, Sequela won. Um, that's good. I know Sequela you're is not. Although, my brother Caleb, you're not out yet. It's this double elimination. Yeah. So you're not, you're not out the, the, you're not in the, you're in the shark tank, but you're still alive. <laughs> yeah. So the format of the matches is a double elimination. So whoever plays and loses goes to the lower bracket. Yes. And they will still have to face the next opponent. And yes. if they lose that match, that's when they're actually knocked out of the tournament. Yeah, so for now. So... You still have one life left. You still yeah. have one life left. So you give it your all. You give it your all for something like this. And now, whilst we wait, whilst we wait, let's see who we can get on stage next. Well, oh, it's actually next up on stage has been Petroleum. <laughs> Wish me luck, Rodins. You got this, my brother. You got definitely, this. Definitely. Well, whoever will come join me will come join me. But nonetheless, oh, Sequoia will join me. <laughs> From one illusion, from one illusion gaming member to another, Sequela, how are you doing, my brother? Yes. Now this is the this is the Sequela. Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, like I don't goof because the thing is, I just like I referred to this thing first. Yeah. I yeah. referred to the name, and I'm thinking, okay, yeah, this is the name that comes to mind. I should probably just say that. <laughs> yeah. So the next game, who? It's going to be Vin Petroleum versus. We need to pull up the bracket. Vin Petroleum is rushing onto stage. Oh, and we'll get, we'll get the bracket out. Anyways, I hope... It's too bad I can't see chat. Good. I uh, hope you guys are doing all well today. Hope you guys are keeping good. Rage Tribe at Rage for the first time in two years now. It has been a while. Last time we were here, 2019, uh, the Dome. The Dome. It was uh, very unfortunate that we had to move to the Dome. And But you know what? At least Rage was able to find a new home here in um, the Galaga. And, and uh, as you can see, it's quite packed. And this is Friday. Saturday is going to be a nightmare because it's going to be like everyone's going to want to get out. Everyone's going to want to take a day and everyone wants to take the family. So it's going to be really fun. In addition, we've got Tekken tomorrow. So... Expect, expect everyone out here. So, from what I know from being patrolling, he might uh, whip out the Rashid or Bison. I don't know. Whichever one he feels today. Let's see oh. who he's feeling. Oh. Ooh. Let's see what we got next. Oh. We got a Luke. We got a Luke. We've got a Luke. Mr. Street Fighter himself. Most broken thing on the face of the earth <laughs> at the moment. Let's go. So, you think Luke is busted in this game? You know what? He's busted if you're good enough. Ooh. He's busted if you're good enough. Okay. If you're not yeah, yeah. up to par, you're going to struggle. You're probably going to be the worst Luke on the planet. Weakest Luke. I feel like that's not going to be the case. Anyway, Aaron running with the Luke against Illusion Gaming's Vin Petroleum running the Bison. Ooh. Gets the confirm there with the double stomp. Oh, in the corner. He must guess for his life now. Yes, he must. And he gets the grab. Are we going for another one? No. He Is actually he? interrupted that. He could have waited for him to finish and still punish, but he interrupted. I wonder why. Is Luke a wrecker character? Not necessarily. It's just target combos. Press, 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 same button. 
So you mash it, you get combis with Luke. Yep. No, he's very simple, it looks like. Although his projectile game is very strong uh, from what I've seen. It is, but you know what? It's only good if you know how to use it. Most people, they prefer not to use the fireball. They'd rather get in close and make the opponent guess. Crouching medium kick or overhead? Gets the stun immediately. I think he's dead. No, he isn't. Okay, I yeah, actually, he has to spend dead. all that meter. Perfect victory. Psycho Crusher! Oh. Man, that's... I hit hard, man. Sheesh. You know what? It hurts when you are playing the most broken character in <laughs> Street Fighter. Look at how happy Petroleum is on stream. <laughs> <laughs> My man is just like, he's I, comfortable, uh, he's in his element, he's doing, he's doing business today. Yeah, he doesn't get to beat Luke's every day, man. Like, it's a tough <laughs> world out there, so every win you get against Luke, cherish it. Okay, Aaron going straight for the rematch as well. A little more life, a little more defense. Just gets the punish left, though. Hmm. I think oh. uh, Aaron needs to try and avoid actually putting himself in his corner. So I think he should attempt jumping on Bison because that's the only thing he hasn't attempted till now. Bison, how decent are Bison's anti-airs here? Very, very weak. Mm. Very, very weak. So that's probably one of his biggest weakness. He, what? He's only good anti air can be baited out by every single character by just empty jumping. Damn! <laughs> That's how bad it is. All right, Vin patrolling him in the lead. Aaron has to do something. Ooh. Ooh, swinging the overhead in the middle of nowhere. I see you. Hey, you never know. He might dash up and blow Ooh. low. Wait a second, Luke does have a DP as well. He can wake up DP. He can. But Put my him guy. in the corner. Gets the grab. I like this outfit on Bison. It's just like he un he was away. He disappeared. Did he and we punish. tried to punish it. Oh, oh man! He could have punished. But We'd lucky. He could have avoided a perfect. But at the end of the day, Ben Petroleum takes it as expected. I didn't expect him to lose, but I expected <laughs> the look to actually give a bit of himself, give us a round. Yeah. I was expecting him not to drop combis though. You know what? You're right. If your combo is press, 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 yeah, you shouldn't drop it. But you know what? We live in different times, man. Everything <laughs> gets off the face. Everything gets dropped. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Oh. But Aaron is not out. And next up is my boy, Mr. Knight. Yeah, oh my it's God. my boy. Who is Mr. Nine playing against? Let's see. Mr. Seven Nine BD. is going to have to play against Jura ZA. No. no, wait, hold on, hold on. I guess wrong. He has to play against my other boy, 7BD. Oh my gosh. Mr. Knight, I know, you know what? I remember. Mr. Knight is actually good at him. I played him. He played uh, a Seth or so. So he's quite competent in what you want to do. So I know that uh, Ryan, I mean, not, not uh, uh, Ryan, a guy who, who plays Seed Fighter in, in our scene. Yeah. He, he plays uh, Seth against Alex. And from what I've known, their record is. It's a tie. It's tied. A so, tie. Yeah, like it's, it goes back and forth. Like, so if Mr. Nine is uh, up to par with that, uh, Seth, I think we might have a game on our hands. I think uh, is 7BD ready? 7BD? 7BD, um, although I have not seen him play enough, I think he's very, I think he's fundamental. I think he's a solid, solid player. It's just that he just needs a little more confidence in, in his play style. But that's... But that's one thing. It's it's something you can always improve on. Mr. Oh. Nine, as far as I know, he is. This guy plays a multitude of games. And I've seen him play like a lot of Brawlhalla. I think I've seen him playing a, a little bit of Multiverses. Um, lots of anime games. He's also a BB fan, oh. uh, a BBCF Whoa, fan. So yeah. Oh, he went for the Akuma. BB tag. Tried and tested. Akuma versus Seth. How hmm. do you think this matchup will you go? You know what? It's I think it's 50-50 because uh, Seth has anti-projectile tools that actually give him an advantage if they hit. But both of them have low life. So they both have low life. So a jump in from either character means probably 50% gone. Guess for your life, you might be dead <laughs> after that. <laughs> so let's see. Both players are going to have to take care when yeah. engaging the other. So this is what's going to be interesting, but... Uh, for my personal view, I think uh, 
Seven BD should handle this. Seven BD has to be been through most <laughs> situations. <laughs> he disagrees with you immediately. Nonetheless, here we go. All right, get to establishing space. Yeah. Seems like uh, oh, oh misconfirm. Oh my gosh, he Couldn't actually confirm missed it the though. punish. So and he actually went for the right punish. Seth can only go into heavy face into heavy hikatonga risk. Hikatonga trees. Okay, gets the knockdown. He's going to put him in the corner now. Oh. Here comes the pressure from 7BD. Oh. Nice B reversal, but nobody home. He did Puts well the red fireball on it. Oh, Ooh, Madness Cradle baited. I respect. I respect the attempt. At least he tried to get out of the issue. Demon oh. throw. So I don't understand what happened there. I think he was crouching, but he got grabbed. And that grab normally whiffs on crowd unless he stood up at the last possible second. Last moment. possible second. I agree with you. Nonetheless, 7BD on the board. Okay, Ooh. we're going to do some fireball zoning. Oh, that's Ooh. a nice button. It gets under fireballs. It's got some reach to it, but that must be punishable. It's heavily minus, but you can actually space it to make it very difficult to, to minus. I mean, very difficult to banish. Ooh. Oh, yeah, so. it gets a spin. Which, yeah. which, so v this skill, which V skill on set allows you to absorb, your pow uh, absorb the opponent's power? It's actually V skill 1, the one he's using right now, but he hasn't used it till now. It is a command grab, isn't it? Uh... It's not a command, it's more of a hit grab. So oh, strike can be blocked, yeah. Okay, he's in the corner. 7BD putting the pressure on it, laying it down thick and fast. Oh, oh, he could didn't have actually. Felt like he could have punished that? You know what? EX, <laughs> EX fireball I think right in the air. 7BD, man, I think 7BD is too prepared. I don't think this man is losing anything uh, where the opponent does not make him make uh, errors. 7BD. Although you do see a shake from 7BD, I think he feels like perhaps maybe the delay is killing him slightly. You know what? That might be a, a factor, but I think Mr. Nine is actually... Oh, there nice. we go. Nice, there we go. Wake up DP in true Ooh. South African baloney. <laughs> Gets the throw. Here we go. All right, 7BD quick to Ooh. shut it down. He's using v skill. v trigger too. The one you can cancel into every oh, special move. Oh, that looks so cool! What? Oh. That combi looks sick! Oh, he punished that! Oh, he got punished. Okay, he's got the RI idea, but it's not on time. Gets the throw. Yeah, you should have actually punished. So when Akuma does red fireball in your face, you can yeah. actually punish him every time. Ooh. Except the EX version, so. Oh, try to go for the anti air there. Okay, 7BD doing his best to put Seth in the corner. Mr. Nine has to guess as he risks stun. Mr. Nine, wake up, Madness bro. Cradle on wake up. EX version. Let's go. Oh, there nice. Go. I like it. Mr. Ooh. Nine. Checking, like him checking Akuma in the mid range there. Actually, Mr. He could have actually punished that, but Mr. Nine got away with it. Ooh. You know, at this point, Ooh. both of them can kill each other. <laughs> Cancel. Oh, yeah. my God. Mr. Nine, you can do it. I really wish, I really oh. wish Akuma, I really wish Akuma had his like, his Tekken 7, his Tekken 7 EX um, Tatsu, which looks three-dimensional. It looks so cool. No, <laughs> man, I, I actually like the Mr. Nine's approach saying the last game. He was actually mm. slowing things down, waiting for 7BD to do things, and actually trying to punish things. So I think he might have lost, but at least he learned a thing or two, man. Slow yes. it down. Slow it down, pace things, pace yep. things. I think it'll all be good. I think it'll all be good. Mr. Nine not out yet, 7BD advancing though. Okay, who's next? I think I'm at Oh, you it's uh, Billy Tate versus Agonaut, if I'm correct. Ooh. Yeah, on stream. Next up, we're going to have Argonaut. One of the FJ, one of the SAFGC's friendly faces up against Bravado Gaming's Billy wow. D. So this is going to be tough. I don't know who Billy's going to pick. Oh, yeah, know. Billy has an assortment of characters on He him. does. He even has, uh, what you call it, sleeper killers. Like characters used to play a while ago. He just yeah. stopped playing. So he can, man, he can throw out a, a, a random Seth, Ken, Ryu. At this point, I think. Uh, Do any Does anyone in this community play G? Who? G. G. Yeah, I think we have quite a few people, but... Uh, the one guy who actually mains him, yeah, I hardly see him playing uh, offline. But online, he's always there. He'll 
he'll wreck you uh, for free, so you don't need to pay him, so <laughs> he'll do it. Argonaut, very confident, very comfy, looking very good, very calm, very focused. Mm. Billy D, is this another day in the office for my mans? So for Billy D, I, I know he can handle this situation. For, for Argonaut, I think he recently uh, had a change of character, so I'm wonder, I want to see actually what he has to bring to the table because I remember him as a, a, a mainly a Chun Li player. So Chun Li. I want to okay. see actually his new character, what he actually brings to the table. Will he, will he make the people uh, guess for their lives, fear the threat of a demon? Uh, I Let's don't know. see. Let's see. I'm very interested. Chun Li is very strong. She's got some lovely buttons, uh, lovely kick buttons in the mid range, dude. It's just like there's no approaching her. There's you can no approaching her. You can win. F she can whiff punish almost everyone, but no one can whiff punish her. So of course. She oh, has. got a Minot. Oh, yeah. He brought out the Minot. Sheesh. Minot, a lovely zoning character. Mm. This is going to be interesting. So, Minot is normally uh, a very good zoner against guys who don't have fireballs. Against but, fireballs, yeah. she, mm. she's more like a reflecting your fireballs at you most of the time but hey he has a kuma he can jump in fireballs yeah so. he's got two different angles for yeah, the fireballs so, so and how does the red fireball do against her orb when when sent out she one one hit so uh the red fireball heavy version has three hits so Ooh, detonate oh. gets the gets the air throw i believe that's crazy man sets up the orb Ooh. And nice. I see he's using the new V skill too. So new V skill two buffs uh, Akuma's red fireball. So it's more potent now. So okay. So I think he wanted to keep in mind um, Minot's orb. So he wants to see if he can try and keep the fireball pressure going with the with the buffed fireball like that. Oh no, that was the normal fireball. So oh, he's yes. using V skill two where he can cancel uh, moves that are not cancelable into. A special move or a special move into a special move, so that yeah. So he goes unchained here. Okay. Alright. Billy D on the board. Ooh. He actually gets the orb, sets it up for the Oki. I like that setup from Minot. That was sick from Billy. Oh nice. we go. good challenge. She doesn't and keeping have her ball. away from her orb too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, oh my gosh. The Counter. orb hits on the way back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you hit her, it won't hit you. It loses it to hitbox. Oh, Still, you can go for some espionage mix-ups on this thing, dude. You oh can hide mix-ups on that thing. So this is what Ooh. I was actually afraid for for Billy. So he she has she to now get her. in on 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 Argonaut. So if Argonaut can actually uh, hold it out, man, he actually, he actually might take this. Let's see. Detonates the fire. Oh, detonates the, the orb. Ducks the ducks the mid. Almost got the, the punish. He almost got the punish there. So Agano was close. He could have taken a round of Billy. So it just shows Agano has prepared. He's, he's prepared for he this match. Prepared, he man. has prepared he, for this match. It's he, just mind he, adjustments. Yeah. yeah, small things. He didn't bring a, a washed up Akuma. He brought something he can actually <laughs> use. So, yeah. I know. My Akuma's washed up. So I, I know. Nice. Each man. Fireball DP in my hands, my guy. Hey, well. You, you might as well just uh, give it to uh, a stick. So. For now. Well, we're going straight back to the character Ooh. select. No, yeah. we're sticking with the Akuma. I think he wanted to actually... Oh, he, he switched the uh, V-Skill and V-Trigger. So. Okay, Sheesh. so what V-Skill and what V-Trigger are we working with here? So, actually, use V-Trigger. So, V-Trigger one is the one that buffs his fireballs and his, uh, his DP. So... Mm. And you know what it does? I, I actually know. Now he gets the jump in fireball Ooh. that he can actually mix up with more, what you call it, Punish. more consistently. Okay. All right, good start from Billy D. Trying to zone out the man. Oh, detonates it. Oh, how unfortunate. Ooh. Nice conversion from Billy there. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sheesh. Oh, Minot can pretty much play you from full screen, isn't it? She can, but you see what I mean with each Okay, the, deep, the double air fireball on the way in. He won't Sets die. Sets the orbs, so. pops the trigger, 
Willy. Oh, doesn't kill. Still alive. Oh, Yo. Marcos Billy. Oh, that is sick. He could have still blocked low. Those orbs do hit mid, so. The they're orbs hit mid. Yeah, they're not an overhead. Oh, thank goodness, because that was going to be some disgusting Oki. Jeez, Minot controls a large section of the screen. Detonates it. Oh. Doesn't get the air throw, though. Oh, detonates the orb right on top of him. Wake up, EXDP. You know what? I'd expect it every time. <laughs> I'd expect it every time. Sets it up again. Gets Ooh, the stun. Really. Are we going to go for a throw? Yeah. Nah, just standing kick. Yeah. Right idea, right idea. Yeah. You know. All right. Good game. Good game from both of guys. GG's, GG's. Yeah, I think Manat on this day was just too much, man. Sometimes Manat can just put you in very bad situations where you just have to guess, so... You're going to have to guess. Man, That's very no, good. To be honest, no one can say they are really good at the, at the Manat matchup. Well, Argonaut's not out yet. He's also been sent to losers. We are running the games as we go along, and we do have stations, up to nine stations, I believe, running with, running the tournament. So we're going as fast as we can, and hey, I think man. that's really good. Sheesh. I think we're supposed to go through three, three games, and we're already... This Where is already... Are Where are we? We're in semis. I think me, I have to play so. I have to play. Let's see. Let's see. Den's our tournament organizer doing the things. He does have some assistance with the rest of the UGC crew. Me and Vim Petroleum actually have to play our games. Oh no. And I'm looking at the bracket right now. Yeah, you so. two have to play each other, provided you win your matches. But I see you, Sequela. You're going up against a very solid Ken in mm -hmm. Hot. Best Ken in South Africa, so. Hells yeah, best Ken. I've seen him play. He's is amazing. Amazing. So, yeah. yeah. It's going to be difficult, but hey, man, it is a task we must all go through. Someone has to beat the Ken, or someone has to lose to the Ken. So. Someone's got to uh, lose to a Ken. Yeah. But all right. Well, let's not focus on lose. Let's not focus on the lose. All right, that's yeah. a good attitude. It's a yeah. good attitude to have. We might actually get who's playing first. Am I going? Oh, 7 BD. I mean, uh, BAD and actually Vin Petroleum are going in, in first. Okay, so, so Vin Petroleum, you know what? Back on stage. It's been Rushing a while since. against BAD. BAD, man. Bad. My it's man's a bad, bad man. man. Bad man. So, uh, from what I remember from BAD, so BAD used to play Sakura. So yes. I don't know if he still plays Sakura now. Sakura. With a uh, broken light kick into DP. That punishes everything in this game, man. Light kick into DP? Yeah, she can actually link a heavy DP from light kick. What? Yeah, so, and it's a four frame. So, a how, four frame. how many bad. things are minus four in this game? There's a plethora of buttons that are minus four in this game, so. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, I'll see. And on top of that, she still possesses the advantages of every other Shoto, a fireball, an EX fireball. I wake up EXDP at Tatsu. <laughs> so, and yeah, this ought to be good. This ought to be good. Let's see who BAD picks. Are we going so straight for the fight? Oh, straight I for wonder who's BAD going to pick today. Yes, I love Sakura so much. I would have played this game if Sakura was in it earlier. Yes, but, but unfortunately, she came like so late. Season three. But let's not forget, guys. Uh, Ben Petroleum has Bison, so... And um, Bison is probably one of the most hated characters in South Africa, I might say. Plus frame <laughs> on plus frames. It, it feels like he's cheating most of the time. <laughs> because he can loop his pressure, which is... Which is quite demoralizing, man. When you are like a, a mid to tier player, man, just trying to... Are our players doing a button check? I think they're doing a button okay, check. Okay, that's cool. Are you boys cool. running a button check? Button check. Okay, button check. Cool, cool, okay, cool, button cool. check. Let's see, let's see. I love Sakura's design in this game. He might want to test out that light kick. So does the light kick? Oh yeah, it works. Oh, that light we've kick. Got it. We've got it. We've, we've got, got it, it, boys. We, we we've got that loaded. locked. In. We got locked and loaded. Gun. <laughs> and he's using V skill too. She. I mean, uh, V skill one and V trigger too. Okay. Oh no, V skill two. Sorry, sorry. I'm the one who's mistaken. So yes, <laughs> he's got the V skill now. That's uh, that's. That's a really good VC. Let's uh, extend her, her combos. So, not, not her combos, let's say her hits. Okay. So we, got some, we got the range. We got the range. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back, one and all. Wel okay. Welcome back to the Street Fire edition of Rage Drive. We are out here in the Gallagher Estate once again. 
after two years, it's very, it's very, very good to be back out here. The expo very, itself, very, I've had a chance good. to walk around. It's been, it's been lovely so far. You know, the last time we were also at uh, Raids, mm. Megan Train Navy, we also played in the Red Bull Hit the Steve's qualifiers. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And I can remember a couple of faces. B.A.D., Billy Date, uh, what's it called? The protagonists were all there back in 2019. We were still grinding, bro. We were still grinding back then in 2019. But back in 2022, but with Hit the Streets looming, but with Hit the Streets looming, how do you think you, how do you think you feel about this one? You know what? Whoever qualifies for Hit the Streets would have deserved to actually go to Hit the Streets. So I know everyone wants to qualify, but there's only one guy who's going to go. So let's just accept that that guy who goes was better on the day, guys. Unfortunately, okay. Okay. oh, he went for Guile. He's going oh, for a Guile? Oh, he went for a Guile. Okay, so we're going to... So we're going to be touching here. We're going to be like defensive, very solid, yeah. grounded game. This, this, this is going to be crazy. I think we're going to see a heck of a lot of jumping on fireballs. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult to approach him. Oh, he's got to jump in. Oh, yeah. Sonic Boom. That's his V skill, too. Jump in, Sonic Boom. Mm. That's nice for setup and closing the gap. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that was a, sum that was a somersault. That what was a flash kick. Yeah, man. Sometimes they don't come out. Sometimes they just don't come out. Oh, I like his footage, though. Controlling the range. Do you, you see this? Bro, this is... I, I don't know. There's not many guys who play like this. Most guys actually turtle and walk back. He's offensive. He's actually going on the attack. I he mean, if you're a turtle with a solid shell, of course you're gonna get, you can go in with defense, best offense. Eh. All right. Nice confirm. Okay, uh, no anti -ass. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, okay, gets actually, up, gets the throw. Yeah, uh, it's okay. quite difficult EAD for him. He is to mashing quite a bit. He's mashing quite a bit. Although, have not seen one fireball from it. Okay, there we go. I think he's struggling. I think something's up. I think he's. I think the delay might actually get him because normally I he is very solid. He's very solid. So, and you can see he's missing quite a lot of end here. So yeah. It, yeah, it you, happens, you man. Can, you, can check, you can check your buttons to see if you're okay. Um, we, need you to, we need you at your, we need you at your yeah. best, my brother. We need you at your, yeah. at your best. I best. know, like, as the winner, no one likes winning when the opponent is actually struggling with the buttons and everything. I know it's good to win and everything, but, yes, I think he, yeah, he wants to go back to his settings. So, yeah, I think that was just so unfortunate, man, like it. It, it happens to the best of us. It does. It, it does. It happens to the best of us. We're it's sorry. tournament nerves, man. Tournament nerves. You get you get there. You get up there. I've I'm also been guilty of this mistake. Even whenever I play Tekken, even when I've been I've been playing Tekken for a long time, and I'm very comfortable with my characters. But sometimes your tournament nerves gets you to forget to check your buttons. Gets you to make mistakes on there. You know what? Combos and converts that you've practiced for such a long time, man, you, you know, all of a sudden forget them. When I first went to my first online. I was literally shaking up. I, I could strug I was struggling to put my uh, USB connection into the PS4. Like, <laughs> even the commentators were asking, "Are you okay, bro?" Like, yeah, you, know, you don't yeah. need to stress. And I, 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 man, it happens. It happens, guys. Like, it does happen to the best of us. It's not necessarily that you are afraid of your opponent. It's just that, man, you know, you're so used to playing online. You see, the mm. opponent is not next to you. Mm. When the guy stares in your eyes and stares in your soul right there and then. <laughs> it's different. It's a different story. He will, hey man, it's, it's, uh, uh, things go wrong. Things go awry in that age. Okay, so we're going with the second V skill and the first V trigger. You know what? My opponent that day was actually a Sakura also, so, so yeah. These Sakuras will actually put the fear into you sometimes, man. Love this character. Okay. It's like her G... Her, G, Alex, those are some of my favorite characters. Sakura. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Nice crush counter. Oh. Gets the DP. Here we go. We got those out here today. We got him. He, he's got it. He's back. Okay, now we're back to zoning. We do. Sakura does have access to the. Oh, nice Ooh. jump in. He got the jump in, but it, not the conversion. He's that was the DP. You saw that was the yes, DP. It actually got stuffed out. So the unfortunate thing about Sakura is that she does not have a, a DP that has invulnerability to air strikes. So 
She has to use the meter. Nice wipe. confirm. Oh, that's the light kick. I was talking about it. Light kick into DP. Yeah. That's such a fast confirm, dude. Oh, oh, we wanted the anti -air. Oh, the super. He actually wanted to go to the super, but he didn't come out. Okay. Uh, he was going for the champion. Yeah, I, I, I get what he's jumping. going. Yeah, I, I see you, I, I see you, I see you. All right, Vin Petroleum on the board. One more from taking this match. Oh. What? Oh, what? sheesh. Really? Vin Petroleum, why? Flash kick into, <laughs> into CA. She's just a little girl. Oh, punish. punish! Oh my gosh. That's enough. That's enough. It's still a punish. Still a, a punish, punish is a punish. Ooh. Nice confirm. Oh, she tried to neutral jump it, so. I get it, but it was not the right speed. Okay, there's our first fireball in this entire set. You're right. Actually, that. Oh my gosh. I didn't actually. Oh, he could actually throw him in the corner. Could have changed sides. I'll take the throw, though. Sh Oh no! No, the jump in Worst killed time to with jump the flash in. kick. When you see a uh, 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 a girl crouching, that's probably the worst <laughs> time to jump. Wait for him to walk, then jump. The jump in, the jump in gets you gets you yeah. in, and you're just like, huh? Oh, so you're probably wondering how I got you. <laughs> yeah. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, the consequences I think of it's my, my turn, guys. It's my turn to actually go in me against Hart. Tough game, but let's go. I'm very excited for this one. We're gonna keep going? All right, here we go. Whilst we are waiting, I'm going to be rejoined by Vin Petroleum. Thank you, thank you. We're going to, well, Vin is joining me, but we are going to take a five minute break. We'll be back just now. It's time. Let's get ready to rumble. Hello and welcome to DNLE 2022. We are back at it again. It's been real. It's been Ooh. 2019 was the last time we did DNLE online. Oh, uh, offline. Offline, offline bro. Back with that drive. And actually hit the full range. Whoa. The back way! Uh, Hell sweet! You know what? Come on, take off! Hell sweet! Do it again! 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 Let's go, Daniel! Do it again! Let's go, Daniel! Do it again! Crap! Hello? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? The SAFGC is never friendly. Nah, no, dog, this family right here. This family. Okay, they beat him. Oh my god, they both did great. Oh! 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 Back at it again. My name is Mr. Chocolates. You'll know exactly what I mean with this reference later on. Coming into esports, you'd see the certain things fragmented everywhere, and you want to sort of put it together and try sort of create a system for them. My goal is to show people that you know you can do this. It's not that hard. For the first what, two and a half years, we made nothing. Like it was all about us spending our money that we earned from work. We need to be better at the game in order for people to respect us more about what we say and what we do with it. 
it's going to start off with passionate guys that are that are keen to hunt sponsors and keen to like you know kind of work on on collaborations or get people to to get behind your team we as tournament organizers push the players to push their friends to push whoever others to arrange tournaments themselves well, we're not doing it for money <laughs> that's, that's a joke we don't get we get nothing this is a question i hear a lot yo bro i want to start hosting tournaments so i can make money i'm like bro you're gonna be broke we're very happy with what we're doing and like obviously if we don't earn money at the end of the day it's so whatever did you have a good time playing in our tournament oh yeah we came to fight It's a Sunday lunch. It's time that the Josie boys catch up. So we will be doing. Cape Town's free. <laughs> I'm not from there anymore. <laughs> I'm focused I've been watching for the omens I've been listening to everything you said It's been running through my head Locked and loaded I got the feeling that you know it Yeah, I've only just begun I won't stop until it's done Till you're broken So welcome to the fire Championships.
are oh. back. <laughs> well, I can back. hear myself. Yes, That's you can. <laughs> There's a bit of a delay that like changes the whole fundamentals of speaking. Once you once you get used to these things, you do you you get used to the delay and everything like that. Anyways, welcome back, everyone. Hello. Welcome hello. back. <laughs> welcome back to Rage Tribe, the Street Fighter edition. We are out here. You guys know me, Red Siski, and I'm joined by a young man, a young dragon in Mr. Blue Shark. How you doing, my brother? I'm good, I'm good, man. This event is, dude, it's amazing. It's amazing. I went for Comic-Con. Yes. Not to speak trash on Comic-Con, but <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you already know. I, pref I would prefer here, but then there's also three days of the event. Mm -hmm. So it's probably going to be more packed the other days. Today's just day yeah. one. Yeah, this is day one. Day one is oddly very busy, very bustle. So, yeah, Saturday is gonna be is gonna be very very busy. And I think um, I think this is what we most uh, mostly look forward to. It's gonna be a very very nice day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's already going good. When, what time do we end here? Uh, we're supposed to end by six, I believe. But let's see what we got. Um, Welcome back, anyway, to Street Fire, Street Fire Championship Edition. We are up next on stream. We've got Illusion Gaming's Sequele versus Heart. Heart today. I don't know about this Heart and guy. Heart. Heart, um, Heart, Heart. Oh, sponsors. Before we proceed with that, we would like to thank every single one of our sponsors. Intel Nuck, Asus. Samsung, Pro Sales, GoDocs, the Nexus Hub, Rage. Let's see what else. Puma. We've got Retro Guy as well. We've High got sense. Red Bull, <laughs> Nut, Nano Lee, LG, High Sense. Thank you very much, my brother. And AOC. <laughs> I mess with High Sense. They've been making fridge and stuff. I like no, fridges. They do some good stuff. They do some good tech. Yeah. They do some good. Okay, stuff. who's got the better fridges, LG or Samsung? You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't make a man choose. No, okay, we got yeah, yeah, yeah. We we can settle that debate. We can settle that debate off stream, but we yeah, have to get into stream. we have to get the schedule moving and we have to move on. So, we've got Let's see. On stream now, we should have Illusion Gaming Sequela versus Hart. What I can tell you about Hart is he is a very solid um, Ken, one of the strongest yeah, no. Kens in the in our country. So, um, he streams regularly on YouTube. I, I have had, I've luckily had the pleasure of checking out his Ken. Um, very solid, very fundamental, fundamental Ken. Mm. Very strong. I haven't seen him offline though. Like, does he do online events or more offline? I've seen him more on online in the rare instances where I've watched World Warrior and Get Washed, done by GB. Um, so, yeah, he's, been, he's very, very strong. And then uh, Illusion Gaming Sequele, he's got. As you can see, as you saw on stream, he's got a very solid geek. Yeah, he really also know. does have an Abigail, so he has a preference for big grappler type characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big body characters. Yeah. I hate those characters, <laughs> bro. Because they're meant to be bad, and then when you lo lose to them, it's like, damn. I don't get lost to a bad character that has oh, no on. movement. You've got, and... you've got, you know, you realize that big, your big body characters carry carry just as much risk reward as other characters do if not more more risk or more reward risk more risk reward both oh okay yeah combined okay that may, that would make sense if you really think about it but i don't know i like cool <laughs> characters and i don't think those guys are cool oh come on i think they're great um i mean potemkin from guilty gear i he's, think he's, he's got he's like the coolest big body in my opinion yeah. Jack is also dope. I miss Jack. Jack is a fantastic character. What other big bodies do we have? Okay. Susano from BBCF. <laughs> I would register him as a big body, but I yeah. love that character. That's my favorite character. I don't really mess with game. him, bro. He's I've, so I've great. I've played him a lot. I've just tried to do his trials. Yeah? Yeah, 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 but I don't mess with him that much. I think he's great. I think he's a great I character. Just, I, I play Ragnon, Blaze Blue. Ragnar is good. He's yeah, a nice, nice, he's a nice character to start things off with. Anyways, back to the Street Fighter. Let's freaking go. Sequela, Hart, the Ken versus the Geef. Are we getting a Geef? 
Oh, going out, OG outfit. Yeah, we're going with the gi. And Hart going with the tried and true, the classic white gi, white gi, red gloves. I think we're going to do a button check for this one. <gasps> Brody shut. I just noticed now. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I see it too. No, nonetheless. We are. We are mature people anyway, so it's okay. We are all mature. We out here. All right, here we go. First round. I like the movement here. Trying to see how far we can reach, see what buttons we can be able to whip punish. Oh, oh big risk. Oh, that's going to be a big punish. Nice. No meter, though, so it doesn't get anything too damaging. All right. Just I'm ranging him out here. With I think Hart just feeling out, the, feeling out the weather today. Nice jump in. Ooh, it is a big trade, trade though. Side switch. Manages oh, to block it runs into a big Ooh, one. Crush big counter. crush counter. Oh, gets in there. Oh, but does not get That's, confirm, that's drops death. It. That's death. Yeah. No, he's no, still alive. Bro. He's still alive. He's still alive. He's playing games now. I like it. Sequela just poking him out. See if he can bait another DP. Nice oh. confirm. Oh, oh okay. no. Okay, does it. GG. GG. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, first round. We can that was very convincing by Sequela. But there were times where Hart was gaining a bit of momentum. He was gaining a bit of momentum, but he couldn't quite get his confirms here. Yeah, missing a lot of stuff and getting punished for it. Oh. Everything is landing. Everything's Sequela. landing. Everything's going according to plan for Sequela, it seems. Nice, Ooh, nice confirm. Nice Okay. Okay. Now we can Ooh. lay on the pressure. The dash in from Kit. Nice, nice. Look at War this. pressure. Ooh. Wake up. Oh, oh that gets landed. Gets the back grab. This is going to be huge. Oh, it's counter hit. Do you see that damage, Life dude? ready to sequele. I think that was the throw Got there. activated here. There nice. we go. Get another one. Shimmy. Ooh, what a shimmy. Death. Did you see oh, that? Oh, super. No, no. Nice, nice throw nice escape. escape. Just the patience. There. The patience. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's not going to kill. Is this going to kill? No, you're still alive. Bet. All right, fireball zoning. I do understand. Life leaders. Ooh, yeah, straight nice to the EX, EX. EX. All right, hard on the board now. We're tying things up. That was a very shaky round, but I will give it to yeah. Hart. Let's see if he, can, uh, if he can keep up the adjustment here. So quite is staying patient, though. Very, very patient. See the footsies, like try and get as much spacing as possible. Oh, Ooh, nice jump over. in. Okay, it's fine. Nice block. Oh, doesn't have V trigger. Oh, oh, crush counter it. gets the confirm. This character hits hard. He oh. does. Ooh, I think that was a DP. Oh. Nice confirm. Ooh. Gonna get Oki with V-Trigger activated. Oh, that was, that was a cross-up for sure, but he couldn't land it. The Red Cyclone being invincible there. Okay, let me speak to him. Sorry. That's all right. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We just got a bit of a word from the, from the neighboring speakers. Straight into the critical okay. art while I turn away. That's gonna kill, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it will. What's the start of frames of that thing? It's not even like one frame, right? That was fast. <laughs> Leaves it buried. Planted the man like a tree. Because I know in SF4 it's really fast. I don't know if it is in 5. But that Un looks fast. Unfortunately, I'm not as knowledgeable in SF5. I'm actually not knowledgeable in fight games in general, but it's worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, Art instant going, rematch. Yeah, going straight for the rematch. Is it first to two or first one. to two? Winners nice. quarters, it's still first to two. Nice confirm. And it's a punish on the whiff grab. Ooh, nice, nice reversal. reversal. Oh, Bates it and gets him with the demon wheel throw. Look at the spacing. I see now. Hearts more comfortable. Dash and throw. Nice. He hasn't got hit once here. Not, not yet. Chip damage. Not yet. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. We got a nice tap. It's not a perfect. It's not a perfect. That's one victory. Ooh. Ooh, okay. another one. Slowly forcing him back into the corner. I like that. Look at the patience. Nice. Confirm. Nice. One more should do it. 
Oh, Unlucky. what a punish on the fireball with the V trigger! Be huge. Nice. Big damage. Nice, nice punish Ooh, on the throw! In. Okay. Empty neutral jump straight into the punish. Well done, Hart. On the board, taking the lead. He's still got a lot of work to do, though. This is Sequela we're talking about. Very patient Zangi. Gain the post. Look at the spacing. Nice confirm. Hart Doesn't more comfortable combo? in this round. He's looking a lot more comfortable in this matchup. I do feel like that punch is very punishable. Maybe whiff punishable? Gets the throw. Sets him up close. I like that throw from Geef. Being Sequela being patient on wake up here. Yeah, it's not gonna go for anything too wild. Not enough red cyclones today. Do you see that? He's fine with just he's fine with just sit, like stepping back and forth, say playing the space, trying to get the poke. Very comfy with that light. And then Hart just is fine with going in, going for the throws and whatever. Whatever he can confirm, he will confirm. Oh, yeah, Watch try and make it safe with the nice. V-Trigger. Straight to the dead? CA. I don't know if this will kill. Nah, it's not dead. I don't think so. Ooh, Ooh, one more piece though. of life. Spec. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Good shit. Good shit. And he's... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the damage. Gee, Wake up, that CA. Was his round. Are you insane? That was his round. So what are you insane? Why? Night poker facing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we're going into this. Yeah, the red cyclone was just good a second damage. too late. Yeah, good for a break. This is very patient. This Whoa. is very patient. So quite a poking his way out of the corner. It's a nice way to force the pressure. Nice red cyclone on the jumper. And it's on neutral jump on too. Oh, Hart couldn't react in time. Could see a slight shake from my man. Nice confirm though. Have you noticed how we have not had much in the way of fireballs here? Yeah. Which I don't know why. I think He's gonna red eat cyclone. A lot of red oh, cyclone yeah, yeah, is that. invincible on wake up. It can, you can you can miss the fireballs, okay, but also just be careful. Yeah. Hart does have meter. So does Gee. Yeah, no, he's dead in like one combo. One confirm could do it for either of these players. Just both being patient, waiting it out. This is it. This is one last one. Ooh, he's dead. Oh. Throw. No, he's not let. No, nice oh, DP. Nice, nice DP. Catching nice him DP. on the jump in. Hart. Tying it up. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> My man is breathing a sigh of relief. He's breathing a sigh of relief after that one. That was a very stressful match. You can see patience from both of these players. Hart getting a little more comfortable up on stage, up on the console, getting his confirms right. And it took just a shaky first round, eh? Yeah, and if you look at the first round in the set, it looked like a blowout. Sequela was, he had the lead, and Hart just didn't really know how to approach that kind of defense. But yeah, he's definitely adapted. He's noticed some very, very minor mistakes in Sequela's gameplay, which is very impressive. Like and punishing very. it, and punish them effectively, dude. Yeah. And he's kind of nervous, he's dropping confirms and stuff. No, but he's gotten a little more comfortable on the stage. He's gotten a little more comfortable in game. Everything's Yo, just tell hitting. me that doesn't look like Maximilian right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Down to the end? long hair and everything, I get you. <laughs> All right, Sequela's still sticking with Geef. I think he still feels, he still feels comfortable in the, with the character. Remember, it was him who took the first match. It was him who took the first match. He did have the lead, so he has to be make minor adjustments. Minor adjustments. But I think his patience is going to be a big factor because it seems to outweigh hearts quite a bit. Yeah. Let's see how he can adjust his approach here. Nice red cyclone. As you can see, the, the, the fireball passed right through him. Ooh! Okay, it wasn't a crash counter see that controlling the space there nice, nice. gonna get into the deck held uh, demon wheel throw oh just in time 
Look at the spacing. He's trying to force the crush counter from Ge from Geef there. Ouch. Yeah, he's going to try. Nice yeah, punish. Nice. He, he knows he's going to maximize this confirm as well. Ooh. He's going for quick pokes. Nicely nice done. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice he back. Oh, he's just walking. That's gonna confirm that's it. dead. I think this is dead. Yeah, that's over. That's kill. for sure dead. Dead. Here we go. Is this a first to two or first to three? First to two, I believe. It's winners quarters. First to two. Yes. Yeah. First winners to quarters. Two. Okay. So Hart in the lead after coming from behind. Let's see if Sequela can be able to adjust. Hart having no meter here. Just has to pull something up. Oh, straight to the ex. Rare. That's a lot of nice punish. Muscle. Neutral jump straight into the DP. Oh, the EX just missing. All right, here we go. Hell wheel opting to give up the corner and send him back to neutral, which is strange. He probably has a reason to do that. Straight confirm. Oh, but misses it. Misses the <laughs> misses the V reversal. Oh, is that plus? I don't think it's plus, but it does have a strong vacuum. Ah, there we go. That's dead. No, no it isn't. Wow. Not over Ooh. yet. One percent. We need just one straight confirm. One That's very straight risky. confirm. Oh, Ooh, unlucky. Unlucky. Oh. Unlucky. Final. Final round. This is it. This is it. This is very interesting. Let's see if either of these players are going to opt to turn up the pressure. Good start. Punishing the jump in. Hell wheel. Put him in the corner. Now we're getting Geef in the corner now. Interrupting here. Oh, Ooh, that's invincibility. I don't know. That was armor. That was armor. Ooh, I think he wanted to punish there, but he, he was just start. a second too early. Crush counter. Ooh, nice. Oh, he has to start with punishing that move. Whipping that's it very difficult. That's very difficult to do, especially in this high impact situation. Gets the throw. Heart can't lose any. Heart can't lose spirit just yet. He's got some nice meter to work with here. Ooh, what the hell was that? That is your just beer reversal. Just meter for pressure here. Nice, gonna get some. Show to you, Repa. Ooh. Nice. Oh, now and he puts him in the corner as well. So girl has a chunk of meter. He's big chilling. He can literally just walk up EX throw right now. Yeah, what's stopping him? <laughs> Hart is waiting for that. That's a thing. Nice Ooh. punish on the jump in. Unlucky trade. Unlucky. But he is not the tournament yet. We still have losers brackets. We still have losers brackets. Yes. Yeah. So we. But yeah, fantastic yeah. work. Fantastic work from both these players. That was very very close. Yo. Dude got a hitbox, bro. Let me see. And no, this is a fight box. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful piece of equipment. I mean, look at this thing. Yeah, that's still decent. Very Although good. it's kind of light. I thought it would be a slightly heavier. Although, speaking of that, speaking of uh, um, fight sticks, production, is it okay if I show up the sticks? All right. Speaking of sticks, we've got our hands on a couple of these big boys right here. These things may or may not be coming to the Nexus. You did not hear it from me, though. <laughs> you got your ball top? Yeah, and you got your bat top? Yeah, this thing is real top. heavy. It's ah. real heavy. Lovely piece of machinery, this. Amazing. What stick do you own? I am learning ball top. But, I would, but having a feel of bat top? I would like to give it a try, but I'm a guy who would love a mix box, but I'm le but I'm trying ball top first. Yeah, I'm just trying all platforms at this point. I've been trying keyboard, pad, a bit of arcade stick. What gate do you have? I like circle gates. So, so far I've got a square gate. I've got a very a square gate. Um, I'm trying to see how far I can go with it and then adjust it where I can. So. Unfortunately, the stick I got, I got second hand from a good brother in the FGC, but unfortunately, I cannot take it apart. Or parts are not as accessible in that stick as they are in this. I mean, with this, it was a simple press of the razor button 
and you, you can, can open just it. Literally do whatever you want, pretty much. Exactly, and it has a satisfying click on closing it too. Yeah, can you change the art? You can change the art, I believe. There's a there's a panel you can be able to remove to be able to change it. But yeah, why but would you want to change this art? This art is lovely, though. Maybe it's because it's got Street Fighter Five logo on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. It's it's amazing art. It's amazing art. I it's agree. I agree. The Alpha One remake, I guess. From it's like a Alpha it's 1. like a lovely it's like a lovely nod to the Alpha to the Street Fighter Alpha series. Yeah. But in like modernized in like Street Fighter Five fashion. It's great. It's great. amazing. I love the art. The art in Street Fighter Five is definitely amazing. It's just kind of basic, but it's good. It's good. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Who we have we got up next? next on I know that's bad. That's the first time I met him IRL, which is nice to know. Because yeah. this dude, like, we played a bunch of Third Strike. Plays a bunch of Third Strike? Yeah. Him and Problem X. Hmm. Yeah, those dudes are. Yeah, they're very good. But very I'm strong. so bad at 2D. The only 2D game I'm good at is cross tag. <laughs> it's cross tag. But even then, I'm mid in cross tag. Okay, Ken versus Ryu, the OG matchup, I guess. Very OG matchup. I've messed with Shotos. Those are pretty much the only characters I play. So, yeah. All right. Up on stage, we've got a very focused, very focused BAD on your le on your right, and on your left, we've got a a player by the name of Ryan. How you feeling, Ryan? Are you feeling comfy on stage? I don't know if he can hear us or he's okay. just ignoring no, us. No, the players are just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if he's ignoring us, but at least he's comfy on stage. So we've got a button check from these players first before we proceed. BAD being the only one, as far as I know, being the one who does button checks, and rightfully so. You gotta be comfy and you gotta be in your element and see what we gotta do. Oh, so this is a button check. Oh. Yes, very much a button check. Who does Ryan play? By the looks of things, I have not seen Ryan play. By the looks of things, he's going running with. Ken as well. Okay. He's running the Devil May Cry <laughs> Dante outfit. Yeah, so bad um, OG, well, I wouldn't say OG, but very good sort of player. Very He's got a Sakura. Good. Yeah, I also play Sakura. I, I like her. Mm. Uh, so do I. Yeah, who do you play though? Who do you play? If I had this game, I would play an assortment of characters. You've got You've got an assortment of characters. Assortment of characters such as G, Alex, Sakura, Ibuki, and I would love to try Zeku. And Zeku's Cody. dope. And Cody, too. Also, yeah. I've just been traumatized from Cody. Like, <laughs> AMJ would bully me in Alpha, SF4. He would just bully me with Cody in that game. The but problem it, it, is, I need I to play AMJ in USF4. I've got, I've got an apple for him. <laughs> he, he loves retro games. <laughs> all right, all right, here He's we go. He's got a cute smile, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he does. That he does. Nonetheless, now we're going to really get into it. Uh, BAD sticking with the Ryu. 1-1. One, one. Was that a... No, 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 no. no. Wait, is that a button check or not? In it? No, I think we're going. I think we're going into it now. I think the score should be reset. Uh, no, it's stream fine. manager. Okay, there. Nice confirm from Ryan. Hmm. Can more explosives of the two <laughs> of the two Shotos? Oh, doesn't confirm the DP though. Dash up Tatsu. Ah, Wake up, EXDP. We out here. Couldn't confirm the fireball. Oh, nice punish. Nice over. Ooh, Couldn't confirm the DP, unlucky, though. Unlucky, unlucky. Gets the throw. Are we going to do it again? Nice throw escape. Expected from BAD. Gets a sweep. Oh, oh no that was... Yeah, unlucky. No anti-air, really no wake DP. Up DP. Unless he knows it's going to work. So, yeah. Just the small adaption he's got to do on his bad side. Oh, nice punish. Mm. I feel like BAD just needs to be a little more patient on the jump-ins from Ken. Nice, nice there we go. Jump in. Doesn't use meter there. Five minutes to save it for the next round or last, yeah, the next round. 
There we Hope go. That's hoping you win this. That's going to be a big punish. Not quite. Oh, what? that was oh, out of range such an unfortunate, <laughs> such an unfortunate miss there. We're going to do the feed trigger. Oh, no. Oh, Ooh. unlucky. That's All right, different first match going to Ryan. Very yeah, solid very, Ken as well. Very, very convincing. Patrick, I don't know if he wants to switch to Sakura here. I feel like I'm basically I can't do that. Just com contemplating the character. Is, well, could be complicating, contemplating anything. Like what he's going to eat for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry right now, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. I'm pretty hungry. What do they sell at Rage? Like, oh, a lovely assortment of snacks, to be honest. Lovely assortment of snacks, although I can't quite get into the details. Because um, I think BAD is going to go with the character change. I think we're going to go to the soccer right here. Onion Station. Oh. Where are we going? Where are yeah, we going? going for Hovering Sakura. over the Sakura. Changing colors. Sakura locked in. I got a Tekken 7 Sakura mod for Asuka. Which might be... I might stop playing Sakura because of... Well, Asuka because of that mod. Hmm, the next character I would love to try is Bob. For some Bob. reason. Yeah, Bob. He's nah. strong in T6. Yeah, but it, he's not interesting for me personally. I I'm think he's okay. okay. I think he's okay. Pseudo Mishima, nice pokes. Oddly, some good range. Oddly, very mobile for a big guy. Very. And some good punishment. Four, two, three. One of the best 10 frames in the well, 12 frames in the game. All right. But back to Street Fighter V. Let's go. Sticking with the Dante outfit. Let's see what we got. Sakura having a little more range than Ryu, especially with those long legs. But not on the fireball department. No, she loses range on the fireball department. Oh, not nice least. overhead. Okay. BAD trying to see if he can challenge him a little more on the air to air. Ooh. Try to use that overhead once again. There we go. Gets nice the anti air there. Gets the jump in. Misses the punish, but he does get a throw. Putting Ryan in the corner and making sure he stays there. Watch the long legs on Sakura. Mm, you nice. ran straight into this throw. He loses corner, but he does have the life lead. Just needs to be patient here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Ryan oh, optic nice. to yeah, take it to him, but gets it. met with a nice confirm. BAD on the board. First time now. BAD. He's, up. He's fine with just going in. Yeah, not really jumping. Yeah, he set his feet. Lovely crush counter gets the <laughs> gets the DP to confirm it. No anti-air though. Nice neutral Just jump. Neutral no jump. Not much he can do off of it, but he does avoid the fireball. Again, avoiding the EX fireball, going for the heavy Tatsu. Both players thought neutral jump. Oh. And we got a pause. Ah. Oh. Come on. No. Okay, at least it was a mid combo. Because mid combo is crazy, but there's still a pause. Like, there is still a pause. Oh, they're just going to continue? Gentlemen, we need a rule. T.O., what's the, what's the call on this? I believe, we'll see what happens now. He's going to lose the round. He should pay with, he should pay with the round. Yeah. Oh, did bad pause. Okay. Unlucky, bro. That's a big, that's a big blow, especially to his lead right Jeez. now. We're on new. We're on. Unfortunately, this leaves Ryan in the lead here because he just needs one more round to take the set. Oh, that was that was a DP, I think. That was a DP from BAD. Just a second too soon. Well, a second too late. Punish! Ooh. Oh, I oh, just drops it. I think you want to stand in light kick there. Okay, trying to see if you can capture him on the re on the jump out. Try to full charge the fireball. Nice anti-air. BAD's anti-airs are becoming more uh, consistent. She's going to pop the V-trigger. Misses the Gore Shoryu. Recovers in time to get some hits off. No punish on the jump in there. Full charge fireball for the meaty. Nice. He's trying to take the throw, but he's out nice of Nice anti-air once again. Misses the throw. Ooh, gets the nice. confirmed BAD. 
He said, give me that round back, boy. Managed I may have it. lost that round, but that round does belong to me. Give it yeah. back. <laughs> so maybe the Sakura pick did work out well for uh, bad. But yeah, now it's what's Ryan going to do. Is he just going to rematch? I feel like he's just going to rematch. Yeah, his Ken is very comfortable in the matchup. But oh, um, what, okay. what BAD has done, what BAD has done is followed Sequoia's advice. Just slow down the pace. Lay on the pressure where you can. Set your feet. Gets a plenty of um, anti-airs. Laying the fundamentals down. But let's see. Are we going to change stage? Are we going to change characters? I'm curious to see what Ryan's going to do. Okay, we are going to switch out me for someone else here. So, oh, after the match? Yeah, after okay, the match. Okay, sorry for leaking the next commentator. Okay, going oh, we're going with, with the alpha outfit. Sorry, finish the set. Sorry, sorry. Okay, finish the set. Street Fighter Alpha. <laughs> you remember when you play Alpha, when you play Ken in Alpha, he's got a ponytail. Did you play Alpha? I loved Alpha, the Alpha series. I loved it, really did. One of my favorite arcade games. Arcade? Where arcade? Street Fighter Alpha. Wait, where did you get arcades here? No, it's my favorite, one of my favorite arcade game, arcade fight games. I still oh, had to emulate oh. it on Fightcade and everything. <laughs> Is okay. Fightcade technically illegal, if you think about it? These are some of the debates we can have off stream, I think. Nonetheless, <laughs> <laughs> back to it, does not punish Ooh, effectively. Drop. BAD with the life lead. Ryan, turning up the aggression. You can see, try to get the dash in, gets met with a jump medium. EX Fireball, EX Fireball back. Just whiffing standing light kick, nice, nice confirm. confirm. Ryan in the corner, try to go for the grab. Oh, that wasn't. Oh. That crossed up, oh no finish. EX DP. That was a down heavy, oh. that was a sure. I was Gets sure that's down heavy. Nice! Oh! Ooh, to clutch it. That was a throw. Jeez, Ryan taking it just within the skin of his teeth. He Gets the crush up. counter, no confirm though. Ryan not punishing the jump ins. Wake up DP? No, not wake up DP, wake up fireball. That's Punish that! Oh. Not Come quite punish. See, that's how you do anti airs. Try to go for the forward medium. Nice confirm. Nice. Punish that! Yeah, yeah okay. that's how you do it. Jump in. Nice. Exploiting Sakura's range very well. Here we go, BAD coming back. Final, final round. Final, final round, my brother. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Both going for overheads. Gets the overhead. No confirm though. I don't know if you can be able to confirm off of that. Nice sweep. What's the mix? Oh, he tried to wake up Fireball. I think that was a DP, but he ended up getting Fireball instead. EX. Yeah, tried to close spit. Tried to close space here. Nice DP confirm. Now Ryan's back's to the wall. Nice confirm. Oh, try to go for an upward one. I think you wanted to jump in. Look at this pressure. Ryan fighting his way back to Ooh, neutral. Confirms the CA! Dead. That's dead. That's dead. BAD! This dude is good, man. Very so is Ryan! Stuff. Yeah, no. That was very close. GG's, boys. GG's, GG's. Okay, we're going to have the next commentator coming in. Nice one, GG's. Unfortunately with that, Ryan is out. BAD gets to swim a little longer in the sea of sharks. Yep. That is right, that is actually a good set. That was a very fun set, that was a very fun set. Now, unfortunately, I've had a look at the bracket. We got a team kill between the two of you, eh? Yep, that is going to be a very interesting one. I'm actually favoring whoever wins. <laughs> My heart goes to whoever wins. <laughs> you know, there's no biasness in the stream. We're not biased. 
Yes. I want whoever is better to win. That's the most important. Yeah. I feel like that's such a backhanded compliment in a sense. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We got Argonaut versus Evan. This should be also a fun one. I think it's Akuma versus... Who did Aaron play when he played him? Oh my goodness. Oh, he played Luke. He played, he played Luke. Luke. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yep. yes, yes. So it's probably going to be Akuma versus Luke. One more time. Yep. Although, what are your thoughts on Luke? Well, Luke is very strong. He's ridiculously strong. Um, he's got the fastest fireball in the game. Mm. Um, he's got... He punishes anything. You can't... Uh, if you're minus three, he's going to punish you. Mm. Because his jab goes forward, right? So you're going to try space out, you know, your moves. And then if you're minus three, he's just going to punish <laughs> you. He's, he's just... He's a brilliant character. Luke is good. And he, I mean, I mean, the number of Luke players just then tells you and informs you how good the character is. He's really, really good. There are a few characters that can actually fight Luke. Yes. Um, I think like Balrog can fight Luke. Um, Dalsim, but it depends on the day because mm. he's got Luke dishes out a lot of damage. Yes. And Dalsim has like 900 or 950 health, so it's quite low. So mm. if Luke gets the hit, then you know that it's, it's guess for game for Dawson. So All like right. three, three hits, then it's done. All right, here we go. Here we go, like we predicted. Akuma versus Luke. I'd love to see Aaron throw more fireballs. Yes, I would like to see, but I'd like to see Aaron throw more fireballs too, considering the, the speed on the fireballs yeah. from Luke are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No confirm just quite yet. Both players feeling out the feeling out the sweater weather. I actually thought it was a button check at the start. Yeah. But now it looks like they've said the match is actually going. Oh nice confirm. Oh no tot no <laughs> no DP unfortunately. Oh, yeah. oh. No sure to you. Nice. Wow, so is that, that advancing jab you were talking about? Yep. Yep. But that's you see that's where the disadvantage is. If someone knows it, they can actually space you out. <laughs> What is that? Whoa. What is okay. that? Coming in with the fanciness, Argonaut. Coming in with the fanciness. All right, Argonaut with a, <laughs> with a great start. Yeah, that's a beautiful start. I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to deal some mental damage on Aaron so that, you know, on the next game, he has the mental advantage. So, Ooh. you know. Go. Oh, it's a slide. That's an unusual trade. Nice. Nice. EXDP. Go show to you. Argonaut is making this match look like Akuma is... Punish! Nice punish. Nice punish to Aaron. I think you tried to go for a cross up there. Nobody home. Mm, good crush counter. Punish! Nice punish. Here we go. Uh, okay, stand up throw. What's the mix? Nice block of the low. No punish though. Oh, damn. I thought it would... Okay, I think what happens is after the crouching medium kick into Tatsu, yes. the DP doesn't connect. Oh. The heavy DP doesn't connect. So I think it only after the light Tatsu, then the DP connects. Okay. okay. But that's the first game to Argonaut, which is quite good. Very strong. Very very convincing. Yeah. Even Argonaut's very satisfied with his performance there. I think, he heard, I, think he, I think he's just telling himself, like, okay, maybe I need to tighten up on my punishes here. Definitely. Maybe tighten up my confirms to mm -hmm. see if everything is okay. I yep. mean, Argonaut's so comfortable, he's even checking on the other player to see, like, <laughs> hey, did I beat you? I beat you convincingly, right? <laughs> yeah, that, sure. That's what you should do sometimes, right? You <laughs> you know, ask your opponent if he's okay. <laughs> fighting games are a mental game, so yeah. if you get into his head, then you have the advantage. I see it, I see it. Okay. Let's see. Immediate okay. demon flip. I think he's building some meter. Nice way, Red nice fireball. way. Jimmy gets... Gets a Tatsu, straight into the goal, sure you. Put in Luke in the corner. Charges up the fireball right in his face. Right in front of him. So what that does is it actually builds up his V-meter as he's charging it. Nice. So that he can get V-trigger much more quickly. Oh, nice. Don't tell me that chop was plus. No, 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 no. He, he mistimed the punish. He mistimed the oh, that's minus it? two. Okay, here we go. I think this is in Argonaut's favor. If he, Wait if he for him. it. Wait for it. Okay, here we go. Oh, no confirm. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. What is Luke's forward dash looks so far? It's Luke's, Luke's dash, it's very fast. So you can't really check the dash. It's not easy to check the dash, mm. but it's quite good. 
Nice. Nice. That's nice. a good punish. Ooh. Ultra correct. Gets the red fireball out. Gets another red fireball out. Tries to go for a throw there. You can see. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, nice. nice. Anti air. That are so good. No. Oh, not no an effective punish. punish on the Tatsu. He's going to get the fireball charged up. Gets met with the throw for your troubles, though. Oh, my goodness. He got two crouching medium kicks, but he didn't confirm them. That Luke was just has, perfect. Luke has a DP, though. Punish. Oh. Okay. I'll take a throw. I'll take a throw. Ooh. Nice crush. DP. Oh. Oh, oh my That's goodness. Okay. So much damage is left on the table in this match. Still. Oh, my God. Look at that. I think it's going to go for Demon. I knew oh. it. I knew oh. it. I called it. <laughs> is that going to kill? Yeah, yeah. I'll kill. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice Aaron. for Aaron. Aaron, his throws are landing it's more. showing signs of life. Yeah. It's showing signs of life. All right. Can Argonaut stop his momentum just in time? You know, for some reason, I knew that he was trying to go for Demon there. And Aaron <laughs> also called it out. He was like, nope. I am jumping out of this. Punish? Yes, nice punish. Well, not a nice punish. Still, he still managed to get a hit. Red fireball. See, check his V-meter. So I he's see building it, up it. his V-trigger as he's done that, so that he can get V-trigger much more quickly. That's so cool. Okay. Standing throw. Nice confirm. This is looking like Argonaut's game. Winning him in Guess the corner. Nice. That's it. GG's. Uh, uh, oh, oh not no. He's still alive. That's going to chip. V-reversal. Yeah. yeah. That's going to chip. GG's. Good game, Argonaut. <laughs> that was a good game. GG's from Argonaut. GG's from Aaron. Unfortunately, this means Aaron is out of the tournament now. Out of the tournament. And Argonaut stays alive. GG's, my brother. GG's. You know, looking at the previous game, I, I do think that there was a lot of opportunities to cash out on the damage, mm. especially on Aaron's side. Um, he got a lot of crouching medium kicks that he should have converted. Even yeah. if it's crouching medium kick into fireball, it would have been better. Yes. Or crouching medium kick into DP. But crouching medium kick into fireball is the safer option. Because yes, yes. Even if they block it, you know, they can't punish you. Yes. But if they block your crouching medium kick, if you go for DP. You're, you're wide open. Yeah, exactly. You're wide open for a big punish. Exactly. Anyways, it's good to be back out here, ladies and gentlemen. We are back out here at Rage Drive. First day, of course, Street yep. Fighter Edition, the championships. We are out here enjoying ourselves. Rage is looking pretty good. Rage is pretty fun. Rage is lively. And this is just day one. It's going to be busy come packed. day two. <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be packed. Definitely. Of course. Of course. It would be nice to see more people come out, you know, mm. come out to this place. This is a wonderful venue. Yes, very lovely. It is unfortunate that we had to leave the dome. Unfortunately, it was due to the circumstances surrounding COVID. Yeah. Offline events not happening all together mm -hmm. for the past two days. For two days. Past two years. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, this is, this is awesome and this is wonderful. So, it's like the place here, you know, if this is where you fall in love with not just fighting games, even though mm. we're here for fighting games, but you yes. fall in love with gaming as a whole and you get exposed to the bigger world of gaming. Yes, but obviously, yes, this is our forte. This is our place. Fighting games, this is what we do on a daily basis. It's time to go. It's time to fighting go. Fighting games. Yeah. Well, let's see. Up next, if I can pull up the bracket, I'll tell you in 30 seconds. I think it's hot. Going with the Ken. So it's going to be a Ken versus Ibuki. I love this character so much. You mean Ibuki? Ibuki, yeah. Ibuki is... You know, she's, got they, some, she's got some disgusting Oki, actually. She does. She actually does. But they toned her down a bit um, because she was, in the previous seasons, she was actually very difficult to fight. So it's Hart versus Taviso. Yes, Hart versus Taviso. Ken versus Ibuki. We're just yep. testing out buttons, I think. Yeah, this is a button check. Yeah, button check. Going with the, straight to the character select. Both anyway. characters, both players signaling that they're comfy. They're ready to go. Back to the character select screen. I'm hoping we see that Ibuki because I'm actually clean to see an Ibuki up, up close here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm guessing you would love, um, you know, the previous winner of the first qualifier, Ryan yeah. Gamer. He plays Ibuki, Ren. 
He plays a bookie, and he has a very good bookie. I, the name is familiar to me. The yeah. name is very familiar. He, he, he won the previous qualifier, the Red Bull He's the Streets, the first qualifier. Mm -hmm. He won it, and he won it playing Ibuki and Ken. Oh. So, so you would you would love seeing Izibuki because he's got he's got like you said he's got some nasty OKs and some nasty setups. Yes. So you would you would love watching him. So this should be an interesting match. Let's see what we got. Let's see what yeah. we got. Taviso on your Guys right. Guys are locked in and focused. Let's see what we got. Ibuki right. has a such such a nice after image backdash too. Yeah. But Ooh. hard. Immediately trapping Ibuki in the corner. Corner ready. Oh, nice! That straight into the stun. Oh my goodness! Cause uh, uh. that kick right there looked like it was an overhead, mm. but then he cancelled it and then just pressed the cross up. It's gonna be a perfect. Oh, what a perfect! That's a perfect. Strong game from start from Hart. Definitely a strong start. Hart is not here to play. He's showing that I'm here to win this. We out here. We out yeah. here. Ooh, run up medium. Confirm. Oh, nice. Ooh, that, nice that confirm looks so sick. Hey, fake the overhead. Wake up buttons for Tabisa. Oh, Ooh, what a punish. punish. Fake the overhead again. Ooh, into CA. Oh, that's actually a good idea. You know why? Why? Because now he has, after this dash, is plus one. Oh, he wake up CA. Oh, yes. He blocks it. Exactly, because he's plus. So no ways. After that, he's plus one. So if you do anything, he can either block, especially with CA, because they yeah. will, it stops time. It freezes time a bit for Yo. the animation. And then he's able to block that. So that, that was so actually good. smart to go into CA. Yeah. That's a strong start from Hart. Very, very strong. Convincing. Very convincing. And definitely, it's looking like Hart has the momentum. Let's see if actually Tabisto can stop this momentum from him. Let's see what it, he's going to go straight into the rematch. I think he still has faith in the Ibuki. Definitely. It might be his only character, you know? We don't have, not one kunai has been chucked today, and we have not got that strike throw Ibuki does. Yeah. Oh, what a nice. confirm. Once again, same situation. Yeah. Yep. The stun. Oh. Yep. Build a little bit of meter. Uh, uh, he's uh, not blocking uh, this. Uh, nice. Look at the damage on that combo. Back damage. Oh, oh my goodness. One more time. Gets the hell wheel throw. Back yeah. to neutral. Except you're on the ground. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Hart is at match point right here. If he wins this next round, he Hart advances. is moving forward. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Oh. oh nice. Ibuki does have a lovely cross up on her, doesn't she? No, she does. Oh, nice, nice crush counter. Cross oh, oh no, nothing from there though. You know, when you have a character and you have to punish, don't leave any damage on the table. You can't. Not at all. Nice neutral jump medium. Oh, okay. try to go for a throw there. Seems like Tabiso is fighting now. He's like, no, I can't go down like this. I have but to but he's it. backing himself into a corner, and he obviously used all the kunai in one go. That's a bad move. Nice cross under from Hart. The dash nice. up confirm it to CA. Confirm. That is actually it. GG's. That will definitely kill. GG's to Hart. What Fantastic a beautiful work. confirm. Crouching medium kick into DP. Straight into CA. Damn. Beautiful. Excellent work from Hart. With that, that sees him advancing into losers round five. Yeah, losers and unfortunately five. for Taviso, that's that's a that's it for the tournament for him. At the end of the road for Taviso. But it was a good game, wonderful set. Yes. He did try. But I you know I'm questioning why he spent all those kunais. In that one round, yeah, yes. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Ibuki can be able to stalk her kunai, but only if you, she's only able to do it one at a time. Yeah. Or you can spend meter and get back two or three after you, sp you spend your meter. Mm -hmm. But what you try and do with Ibuki is you try to keep you, you try to keep the kunai. Yes. Because then you've got the, you can throw the kunai or the, the EX kunai. All right. Production just signaling that we're going to go into another five minute break. We'll see you just now. Time. Let's get ready to rumble. Hello and welcome to DNLE 2022. We are back at it again. It's been real. It's been Ooh. 2019 was the last time we did DNLE online. Uh, offline. Offline, offline, bro. Back three, 
Back at it again, my name is Mr. Chocolates. You'll know exactly what I mean with this reference later on. Coming into eSports, you'd see the certain things fragmented everywhere and you want to sort of put it together and try to sort of create a system for them. My goal is to show people that you, know, you can do this. It's not that hard. For the first what, two and a half years, we made nothing. Like it was all about us spending our money that we earn from work. I got to go to the floor, but I want to let go to the floor, I don't have a step hand, do it for the party hand. We need to be better at the game in order for people to respect us more about what we say and what we do with it. It's going to start off with passionate guys that are that are keen to hunt sponsors and keen to like you know kind of work on on collaborations or get people to to get behind your team. We as tournament organizers push the players to push their friends to push whoever others to arrange tournaments themselves. Well, we're not doing it for money. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a joke. We don't get, we get nothing. This is a question I hear a lot. Yo, bro, I want to start hosting tournaments so I can make money. I'm like, bro, you're going to be broke. We're very happy with what we're doing. And like, obviously, if we don't earn money at the end of the day, it's uh, whatever. Did you have a good time playing in our tournament? Oh, yeah. We came to fight.
Sunday lunch, it's time that the Josie boys catch up. So we will be doing Cape Town's free. I'm not from there anymore. This has been Sunday Lunch with Tom Bob. Signing out. See you next time. Get ready for the next battle. Done. We don't need anything else. Done. <laughs> we sorted. <laughs>
We've got the Rode XDM100, the premier streaming mic that I can't afford. If you're serious about streaming, this is the mic for you. So off the bat, this mic is sexy. This mic is sexy. So this microphone uses a, U- a USB-C, that means it's straight plug to play and it's not XLR. The sound quality of the mic is actually super sick. And the app actually has like a lot of, the app, if you have a road, uh, if you have a road mic, allows you to use the app for free. If you don't have a road mic, you gotta pay a subscription. Uh, within the stream app, there's options to keep your stream entertained with the soundboard built into it. Even though nearly everything is included, the mic boom is not. So that's something you have to invest in on the side. If you had to use the XDM100 for podcasts as well, because just the way it's set up, it just feels like it's a podcast mic as well. So that's been my review for the Rode XDM100. This is quite a sound quality mic. If you're serious about streaming, I really suggest trying to get one of these, get your hands on one of these. Um, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Stay safe and sanitized. Hit that subscribe button and I love you.俺たちはこの世に存在するべきではない。愚かだな。風間陣。ファイト。ちゅ。ちゅ。ちゅ。ちゅ。ちゅ。ちゅ。I am very excited for Tekken 8, actually, considering that the latest trailer dropped off at the at the Game Awards this morning. Yep, yep, that was insane. You know what? That is actually very tempting. Um, I'm a Street Fighter player, but I think <laughs> I'm going to jump onto Tekken. Surrender to the dark side. <laughs> uh, I, I must say that I am surrendering. I am surrendering. I actually will try it out. I will actually try Tekken 8, definitely. <laughs> Tekken aside, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Street Fighter edition of Rage Drive. We are back out here in the Gallagher Estate. Yep. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Of course, we cannot have made this possible without the help of our sponsors. Intel NUC, Asus, Samsung, Pro Sales, Godox, Nexus Hub, Rage Expo itself, the Puma, Retro Guy, ooh, Retro Guy, yes, Red Bull, I can tongue twist, <laughs> Nano Leaf, LG, Hisense, and AOC. Thank you so much for providing the power to be able to drop this bomb tournament. It's the spirit bomb. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, no, no. I think we we get up now and we're probably getting ready for the next match and this Ooh. should be a banger of a set. This is going to be 7BD versus Billy D. And Billy D going with the Nakali 7BD. Oh, interesting. You know, he usually goes with Akuma, but now I see he's picked Cody. Maybe you know, he's anticipating that matchup. Most probably. Oh, the ruffian. But the crime sway to escape the, the pressure. Stomp squad. Nice. Oh, nice. 
meeting nice him edge with the edge. You know, in this matchup, what Billy tries to do with his Nikali is he tries to get you to get a knockdown using the ground pound while he's building his V-trigger. Yes. And you can see the V-trigger that is chosen now is the one where Nikali is always stays in V-trigger. Once he pops the V-trigger, that's the state he's going to be in the whole time. So you until you see A or something like that, <laughs> he's stuck like this? Yep, that's it. He, no, not until he sees A. It's actually the whole round. Once he pops that V-trigger, he's going to be in that state the whole round. And Nakali is very strong when he's in the state. Yo. As you can see, the, the first game went to Billy. Oh, it gets the stomp, though. I think he was trying to interrupt it because there is a gap in between um, the medium stomp. Nice, he's plus. Nice, nice work. Shift. B shift. Trade and tier. All right. Slowly coming in. Slowly yeah. co closing the distance. Seven BD. Nice. nice oh, Antia unlucky. He gets met with the DP. I think Nikali in this game was like my first experience of a charge character. How oh, is it? He just has one charge move, though. The disc guidance, where, which oh. goes through the fireball. A oh, nice DP. Oh, couldn't confirm off of it there. So now when Cody has the pipe, it improves his... Oh, nice. That's KO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when Cody props the V-Trigger, he now gets a command grab, and he now has a longer range because he uses the pipe um, to, uh, as a heavy attack. And also, he has access to the rock that he can throw up, and then he can sort of bat it away onto Nakali. So that was, that was a good first set to Billy. Billy takes that uh, game. And mm. now to our viewers, you should know that this is best of five because we're in top eight and yes, not best yes of three. Are. Yes. So they have three sets to play. So this is first person to get to three games. So it's not your traditional first to two that we just played previously. Let's see. What will 7BD do? Will he stick to the Cody or will he go with the try and test it, Akuma? Nah, it's definitely locking into Akuma. All right, I see you. He's more comfortable in uh, you know, playing Akuma. Yes, I understand. And I feel, I feel Akuma is a better matchup against Nikali? Um, versus Cody, it's, it's, it's arguable um, because, you know, the problem is once Nikali pops V-Trigger, because Akuma has very low health, mm. so he loses a lot of health. So with every hit um, that Nikali gets, uh, Akuma bleeds. So that's the issue. But the same with Cody as well. Cody dishes out a lot of damage as well. Um, but I just feel that um, the reason why 7BD is um, um, switching over to Akuma is because he's comfortable. He has more hours that he played Akuma more than playing Cody. Okay. So I think that's why we switch. Now, a oh, nice DP. Nice DP. Gets the command grab too. Let's see, I think Billy is trying to condition him to so that on wake up, he should be scared of the command grab. Yes. Okay, fireball. Jeez, that thing hits so... Well. That shockwave is a little wider than I thought because it even tagged Akuma on his left foot. Yeah, because you can control where you want it to go. It's yes. either if you, if you... He has a close one and he has a far one. Yeah, yeah. He's got three variations. Nice. There's one where you press and you don't press any direction. Mm. It'll just be sort of medium distance if, yeah. the, if the opponent is quite... Ooh, oh, nice a DP. That was a nice anti. It went through the fireballs, actually. Yes. Oh. Uh, okay. Yo, oh, Ooh. my goodness. What a nice. DP. What a ghost show you. Billy says, I can do that myself as well. Gets the grab. Oh, uh, nice one. Nice one. So we got the first round goes to Billy. He's still going, though. Yep. Still going, though. 7BD. Can, I, but can he make the adjustments? Look at the bottom left. He's got nice... Stick of butter there. The full yeah. CA is the full meter there. Oh, that looks so cool. I love this skill too from Akuma. Wow, what a challenge. Oh, Ooh, but he, he could confirm the red fireball. Oh, my goodness. No. Where's the command grab? I feel like he could squeeze in a, a, a short of you in there. He, can't, he could either squeeze in a short you or the demon flip. But I think he didn't go for the demon flip because it was not powered wow. up with the V skill. Oh, cross Wow, catches what the What a chase level. down. Oh. Three out. Big punish. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be 2-0 to Billy D. Wow.
Wow, wow, wow. What a read. I think Billy D was anticipating that he's going to wake up, yeah. wake up DP there. That's why he jumped forward. Mm, because mm. that option bits, you know, the jump forward was actually smart because yes. even if he V-shifted, Billy would still have caught him. Or even if you wake up DP like you saw, oh. it, Billy D caught him. So it was actually quite smart that he went for the DP. Also, yeah, I've been calling it wrong jump. the entire time. It's V-shift, not V-reversal. Yeah, okay, so there's V-shift wherein he... Um, he, he like sort of like lights blue and then he is like invincible for all the moves. And then V reversal is the what you call it? V reversal is flashback. Yeah, it's when you're in the corner and you push the opponent back. Yeah, slashback. Yeah. Okay. So that's the V reversal. Ooh, nice that's away. an overhead, is it? It's close to stun. Oh no! Nice. Whoa, that would look such a cool confirm. It's like actually fireball. impressive that he he did that while he was about to get stunned. That is quite impressive. Oh, lovely confirm. That'll do it. Yeah. What he was trying to do there again, he was trying to enter again. Yes. But he was too slow, unfortunately. Good work, Billy D. Commanding now, lead here. It's a set point for Billy D now. If he wins this round, Billy D wins the set. But it will only need 7BD is still in the tournament, even if you were to lose now. Yep, because it's still on the winner's side. I'm liking the shimmies. I think he's trying to slow things down. Yep. Oh. I feel like he should punish the DPs a little more from Billy D. Because I feel like Billy D has a little more liberty to be able to use DPs. Nice yep. fear reversal. See, that was a V-shift right there. <laughs> oh, my God. Keep falling for it. <laughs> I got mixed. Nice stomp. Oh, challenges the red fireball. Yep. GG's Billy D takes it 3-0. That was a good set. But... Unfortunately, 7BD gets thrown onto the loser side. He's, he's still in the tournament, though. I'll give it to him. Still he's still in the tournament. He can still fight his way back. He can uh -huh. still come back and challenge Billy D. Yeah. So Billy D is not safe. He should watch his back. You're sure. never safe. You know, after winning, uh, it, it has happened so many times where mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. you send someone into the loser's bracket. That person goes through the loser's bracket, and then you face them again, whether it's in grand finals. Yeah. And then that person goes through to to reset the bracket and then win the tournament. So it's That's always the worst. a threat. That's the worst, unfortunately. Yeah. When, you have to, when you have to reset the bracket and then still beat your opponent again, dude. Yeah. Oh, Kay. unfortunately, I'm going to lose both my commentators as they're going to face each other right now. Yep. Illusion Gaming's Sequela versus Illusion Gaming's Vin Petroleum. I'm going to be all alone. Unless... Surprise guest appearance, Billy D. Yeah. How's it going, my brother? I'm all good, man. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm all right. I can't complain. Can't complain. It's good to see you, my brother. Good to see you. Good to see you. Well, How are you finding the tourney so far? So far, you are undefeated, I believe. Yeah, so far. So far, I'm undefeated. So hopefully, I just want to keep it this way. <laughs> For real, think about it. Oh, okay. bring, you need to bring the mic a little closer. So, yeah. So these guys that are playing <laughs> here, these are the, you know one of the strongest guys we have in South Africa right now. You say so? Yeah. Okay. Definitely, definitely. You know, I remember in uh, CPT. Yes. Uh, Vince Petroleum. Yes. We got to third place. You got to third. Yeah. Out of how many in the in the bracket do you recall? I know I can't I can't remember, but no, like we women, we were men. Yeah, yeah. About it. Um, it was a full tournament, and a lot of people participated in it. Mm. And they got knocked out to lo to losers bracket like first first round or something like that. Yo. Yeah, in top eight, he was in winners. Yes. Then he fought you know, all he the played. way through. Yeah. Yo. You just, yeah, you, you, you're just doing some other crazy stuff. <laughs> he nearly took out JBM. Like the guy who won it. And now... So, so what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Let me get a let me get the view of a pro, of a okay. pro SF player. Like, what are your thoughts on SF6? SF6? SF6. SF6. It's Street Fighter 6. Yeah, no, it's completely different. Um, we still have to learn stuff. Mm. We don't know what works right now. Mm. I hear people saying drive impact um, is overpowered. Mm. You know, like the move way it it swallows or like or it uh, absorbs yeah. your, your move your hit yeah. and then yeah. it hits you 
Yeah. And then now your character can get the whole full punish, mm. that kind of thing. Mm. But um, they're saying that it's broken, but the game <laughs> hasn't even come out. And I mean, as soon as I, as far as I know, right? Yeah, in, yeah. Com- in competitive suit, we always find ways to deal with this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> People are gonna want it to be to, to get buffed instead. Oh so that's no. That's just my opinion. But oh, the game no. is good. The game, yeah. yeah. The game is good. It does. It's not. It's different from what we have. You know, in Street Fighter yeah. Five, right? Yeah. Um, you can pressure your opponent with buttons mm. on block. Mm. So you press a button, you are you are plus. Yeah. You press it again. Yeah. You are plus. Okay. So now you can get a situation where you frame trap them. Yeah. Now if they don't know what to do, like um, you can walk yeah. forward mm. and mm. do the same thing up ag- again, again, again and again, up until you get a, a, a counter and yeah. it's a full combo. Yeah. In that game, you can't, you can't do that. In Street Fighter Six, every button is a minus. <laughs> it, 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 it's a different ball game altogether. No, anyway. at least this is what we're going to have to look forward to exactly. come next year. That's Anyways, right. forget the future. We have to focus on the present. Illusion Gaming, Team Kill, unfortunately. Sequela versus Vin Petroleum. These two ought to know each other very, very well. Yeah. But yeah. now, one of, these boy, one of these boys, one of these gentlemen right here could go all the way and face you. But the problem is, there's one of these guys, and then there's also Hart. There's also quite a number of players capable. But you know what, Billy D? You've got a big target on your back. What are your thoughts, my brother? Yeah, well, I just, I just got to keep my head up. Mm. Uh, these guys are really good. Sequel, on the other hand, you know, they've actually played us, uh, FT, FT7, you know. Yeah. They've, they've actually played it some other time. Mm. And that time, Sequel took it. Um, so right now, mm. as to who's going to take it here, uh, it's a little bit gray on my side. I, I'm not sure. Mm. Um, but I believe that, uh, yeah, these are the characters that I was expecting. But yeah. we'll see how it goes. Sequelis Neutral is very good. Uh, mm. You know, you'll see that he loves using the crouch medium punch. That, that yeah, the crouch punch. medium. Yeah, it's no, such no. an effective tool for him. Yeah, it's a crouch light punch, sorry. Um, yeah, you can't whiff punish it. But Yo. then it interrupts a whole bunch of stuff. What? He bounced off the armor there. <laughs> Some crazy stuff. Oh, wh- was that a cross-up? Yeah. That was such a, a weird cross-up because it was off the wall. Gets the stun. Vin Petroleum commanding first round. Yeah. Mm. Lovely confirmed. Gonna take the first one. Winner's mm. semis. Let's see how Sequela answers back to this. So the thing about Rashid is that his neutral is not very strong, but mm-hmm. he wants to get you into the corner and do those kind of mix-ups where mm. you get um, you know, crossovers all the time. And so when he's here, you see that he wants to you know, use the EX fireball, oh. get to the corner, pressurize you. Listen. Trying to see if he can catch him on the V-shift there. Nice armor. Oh, couldn't confirm that. It looks like he could. Nice dive kick. The fireball catching him in the in the sky, sniping him there. Okay, strain to B trigger. Yeah. One no. confirmed, strain to the red cyclone. I, yeah. s- I can see it. One straight confirmed, we're just waiting for it. Ooh! Even when spending B trigger, he's fine with just st- like crouch light. Crouch light all the time. Oh, oh straight into the CA! Oh. That's gonna kill him, isn't it? Yeah. He's, he's oh. <laughs> What a that backdrop. A what a back suplex. It wasn't scaled or anything. It just oh raw my power. God. It's raw. Yeah. And then it takes a whole lot of damage. Mm. Nice jump in there. Oh, nice. OK, snaps the whirlwind. This is an interesting V-trigger for um, Rashid. So Sequele wanted to get out of the corner as soon as possible against Rashid. Ah, nice and here. I mean, how do you keep someone as agile as Rashid in the corner, dude? No, you can't. But then he can keep you in the corner. That's what makes him strong. <laughs> Very much so. Oh, oh it's nice the one. EX. Yeah. That's dead. So first game goes to Sequele. First game. Yeah. Very much. So let's see what Vin Petroleum does. Is he gonna switch character to Bison? He, has a he bison. does have a, he does have a Bison. Yeah. He has a, a Bison one, available. 
Although I don't know if this is a favorable, if it's a more favorable matchup between Bison Geef yeah. than Rashid Geef. Um, well, uh, I think <laughs> I think Rashid. I'll go with Rashid because mm. um, uh, Geef can can absorb Bison uh, uh, Bison's buttons. Yes, and then Bison heavily depends on you know. Um, on, on his buttons that are pl they have plus frames. Yes. So that's that's the reason why I think Vin doesn't want to go that route because he'll try to absorb. You know, he'll try to pressure, but then mm. he'll get mm. command grab, absorb command grab. Yes, that's I see how it's it. Gonna go. So yeah. he's gonna be able to put him in the corner here. Nice dash up to put him in the corner. Yes. Oh, that works. Can he confirm this? Wow. Yes, he can. Wow. Oh, that dash up was. That I'm dash up you. was so ambiguous, wow. dude. <laughs> and once again, taking it with the crouch light, dude. It's his favorite button. It's his favorite button. Yeah. That's the best button. Like, this guy, like, actually, it's the best jab in the game. In nice. Okay. Vin Petroleum working on putting Geef back in the corner. Here's where Rashid shines. Nice ah. cross up with the body dive. Once again, keeping him in the corner. Nice. And that combos. Wow. Sick cross up. Jeez, the range the on that. Whoa, oh, what a punish on the V trigger. Come on, nice. nice. All right. Vin Petroleum is fighting back. Vin Petroleum's coming back. Yeah. He's coming back. Let's see how it goes. Let's see. Oh, I feel like he could have punished it on the way in. But I don't know how decent um, Rashid's anti airs are in this game. Well, um, there's one, I think it's crouching medium punch. It, it's good, but not always. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, if you do it late, you get punished. Nice, putting him in the, putting him in the corner. Yes. Oh, that cross up! That Ooh. cross up is so gross. Is that dead? It, yep. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Big Patrol, you're tying it up. Hells yeah, they are. <laughs> You know, it's 3 part of 5 round. It's Rashid. <laughs> he puts you in the corner. What else can you do? You have to guess, and you, you have to keep guessing. Yeah. So your defense has to be, you know, top notch. But it, it can't because, you know, you get shimmied, you get grabbed. Something will happen in the corner, and mm -hmm. you just lose a lot of damage. But let's see how Sequela answers back. Let's so it's see. One to one. Let's see. It's one to one. Mm -hmm. These boys still have. That's a funky looking crush counter. Um, <laughs> These, two, these boys still have a match each to play, so it's okay. Nice, Jimmy. See? Wow. Sequela making sure to prevent Geef from being stunned. Look at that stun bar, dude. Look at that stun bar. He's fighting, He's fighting for his uh, life. Out of the corner. All right. Drop the whirlwind. What's the mix? Cross up. You have to hold that. That is so ambiguous. I like that mix up so much. Where do you even block? Jeez. The left-right mix-up, you know, you, you have to guess. That is you have such a disgusting mix-up. <laughs> that mix-up was gross. <laughs> All right. Vin Petroleum in the lead. Again, trying his best to peek, to put Geef in the corner. I think Sequele must... Just try to avoid the Another corner cross up. As, as much as possible. And I, I haven't seen. Oh, Ooh. I wanted to say I haven't seen V shift being used here, but he used it at the wrong time. He just punished V shift. Yeah. He just punished V shift. Had he done it, you know, a little bit later, it would have worked. Nice. Yeah, there we go. His reaction from Sequele. Oh my God. Okay, what's the mix? We can but he didn't care. Come through, yeah. Drops the whirlwind. I think he wants to chip damage. Right yeah, there. that's chip damage. Yeah, it's checkmate. There wasn't much he could do. We still have one more game between these two. Yes. We still have one more game. Now, Vin Petroleum, I think he's, he's looking good. Yeah. But let's see what Sukele does, because I think, um, you know, uh, going to characters makes sometimes help, you know, come up with a strategy. Mm. If I were him, I, I would do that right now. And just try to think about how to avoid the corner because that's how he's losing a whole lot of damage. Every time, every time Ben Petroleum goes for a knockdown, he just tries his best to put Geep in the corner. Yeah. 
and it's ve and it works well, very very well. Can you not red cyclone that corner that corner crosser? Well, uh, um, I think you can, yeah, but you have to time it properly. You, need, you know, mm. it has to be perfectly timed. Otherwise, you're just gonna lose damage. <laughs> <laughs> it'll it'll be a full combo. Yeah. Are we going with the bison? No, he. Oh um, yeah, he won. Yeah, he won. So Sequele has to decide which character is going to use. Okay, still sticking with the gear. Yeah, I think. Still has faith in his character. Still has faith in the big body grappler. The red cyclone. Iron muscle. Cyclone. Sequoia lost in thought. Maybe he's got something. Maybe he's got something. Maybe a stage change. Something more appealing to the eyes. Although I can't stand the idea of a training stage because there's not much going on on it. Yeah. But, you know, we, we always use it. We always play, you know, on training stage when we play online. Mm. So it's familiar ground. Mm. All right, caught him on the dash in. These guys playing the me the mid range so well. Yep. Nice punish. Good block on that. You have to hold the whirlwind. Nice V reversal, but it gets punished. Nice conversion. Nice throw break. Second part of that. Nice armor. There we go. V shift away from Rashid. Nice confirm. Nice. A bit sticky, but still. Nice red cyclone gonna take the first round here. You really can't jump on this guy. Yes. But then it's Rashid. He he can, you know, change the trajectory. Yeah. And instead of just a normal button in the air, he does a special move which which could have punished um, his the time. Woo. Nice. Put him in the corner now. Sequela now has his chance to lay on the pressure. Whirlwind? It's fine. What a grab, and the whirlwind still following. All right, going to go for the seal. Cyclone heart, or cyclone heat, actually. Oh, that was a funky trade, and it still vacuumed Rashid in for a throw. Once again. Feature gets spent on both players. Oh, I felt like that would have been a cross-up. Yeah, had he done the cross-up, then it would have worked. But he see, went for a medium see. button instead. Life lead almost equal between these two. Oh, baby! Nice. The armor! And it's, this is it. We're going to, you know, like, win Petroleum right now is at match, match point. He wins this. And then Sequela is going to the loser's bracket. Oh, he's going to have to swim with the Sharks, yeah? Let's see. Because Sequela has, you know, full bar there. Yes. If he uses it wisely, then. He'll then, kill. Yeah, it will be 2 2. But let's see how, how it goes. Nice red Killing cyclone him. once again. Spin. You really can't jump on this guy. Even Vin Pentrodia's um, anti airs are on point. Yes. Good spacing, too. Mm. Gonna put him in the corner. Uh -oh. Here's where Rashid He's starts to corner. shine. Are we gonna yep. go for that cross up once again? Ooh. There we yep. go, Cyclone Heat! Convert it! That's so good! Watch out! Uh -oh. He's gonna opt to hold it. He's yeah. going to have to take face it face on. Well, face it head on. Nice. It's going to be a big punish Whoa. straight to the CI. Is this going to kill, though? May say it may is. scale. It is. Oh. Two, two. Damn, you, the core muscle you need for that backdrop. What a jump. You know, what a, what a jump. Yeah. What a jump from Sequele. You know, Vin Petroleum was, was fishing for a crash counter. Mm. Fishing for that crutch media, uh, yeah. crutch heavy punch. Yeah. Sequele noticed it. He noticed it, and then just jumped for it, and then you he know went, he went, went very super. Well. Very impressive. With that, we're on equal ground now, aren't we? Yeah. Exactly. Two two. We're on equal ground. We're gonna go straight into the rematch. These boys are not letting up. They this one fighting. decides it. This is a battle of the century, I'm telling you. <laughs> These guys are playing out of their minds. Again, and effectively controlling the mid-range between these two. Uh, nice, nice armor. armor. Wake up DP, of course. EX and even. And connect. Whirlwind. And What's the mix? 
Oh. Nice. What? what? Unblockable. Yo. Now, Vintusodam is in the corner. Doesn't matter. Jump out. Gets which same side, side mix. Which side? That was so ambiguous, you know. <laughs> we all got hit there. Interesting. He's going to opt to back off. Nice. We're punished into the Cyclone Heat. What's the mix here? I don't think it's going to kill. What's going to happen? One now? last Did touch for the character. Whirlwind immediately gets the throw. Still alive. Ooh, oh, run up. Run up. <laughs> run up spin. Why not? One round, one round between the two to take it. Come on, Vid Petroleum. Come on, Sequoia. This is a team kill, and this is something you do not want, especially in a team like this. Both players are fantastic, and they have a great showing. Nice shimmy there. Again, Vin Petroleum, Vin Petroleum on autopilot point, huh? here at this point. Oh, uh, okay. That's the timing you were talking about. Yeah. It is, is it enough perfect. to kill? Super? Yes. Is this going to kill? It might not because of the scaling. Oh, no, no, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, unlucky. And unfortunately with that, Sequela goes down to losers. My man's going to have to swim in that fish tank, man. He's going to swim in that shark tank. Yeah, definitely. Huh? Lion? Oh, is that it? Okay, unfortunately, well, fortunately, or whichever way you interpret it, uh, that will be it for today. We are going to continue this one from top eight onwards on Sunday. We're going to hope to see you Sunday for the grand finals. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is Finn Radzinski and an assortment, of other <laughs> an assortment of other commentators joining me, and I am signing out from Rage Drive. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you tomorrow for Tekken. I'm watching old home videos, the tears flowing and I'm sipping slow.